Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be on Team Denmark getting a win over the Czech Republic. Of course, Denmark is not going to unfortunately be in the playoffs as Repstock Rome was one of the most fun goaltenders to watch in the entire tournament, as she really kept them in all of their games. But in this game, and perseverance, the resilience, and the stick to itiveness got Denmark the win, who of course then lost to Team Sweden in their final game. Uh, but we'll get to that later. As I recap that game, as it's all positives for the Denmark team in this one. Um, it, this was just a game again. Repstock Rome played well. Peslarova played well as well. But Repstock Rome played immensely well. Um, where she was the one that was the carrying weight. But then Denmark was able to also just have the absolute just stick to itiveness and wherewithal to kind of just find the will and uh, when there's a will there's a way mentality basically and they got it done uh this is a huge win in the tournament for Denmark no they're not going to be in the playoffs but as I remember correctly again I'm new to women's hockey but I remember them saying at the beginning of the tournament I believe this was their first tournament and the Czechs were coming in hot into this game Rupstock Rome plays like the elite level goaltender she is and uh, she looked like that this entire tournament. And I would say is up there as one of the best goaltenders play-wise in this entire tournament. Just because their team loses doesn't mean she's played bad. It could mean the defense, which is which is the case in a lot of the time, has played poorly and allowed too many shots on goal. Um, Rupstock Rome played great in this entire tournament. Denmark comes out with a huge win against the Czech Republic. I will be back soon to recap their game against Sweden, which didn't go as well for Denmark. But, actually, let's just do it in this video, too. I might as well combine them uh, just to make it easier. So, Denmark, we have the good, obviously, beating the Czech Republic, which is huge for them, having a huge win. And then they seem to kind of fall to the Czech Republic a bit because then the Czech Republic fell to Japan in their next game after they were, again, hot uh, coming in. And then they fall to Team Japan after that. So that was interesting because I would have thought, honestly, Czech Republic would have beat Team Japan just from what I've heard from listening to people that know what they're talking about because, again, I'm new to the sport of women's hockey. But against Sweden, Denmark, unfortunately, was not able to win and then go out with a bang. Soderberg played well. Uh, Rupstock Rome, <clears throat> again, played really well. This game, though, I think, was a lot more well played for Denmark, where after beating the Czech Republic, they played a really good game against Sweden. It's just Sweden has more star power, and that's sometimes what wins it in the end. I mean, they outshot Sweden. Uh, I thought in this game, the big thing was they had a 10-55 um, in the power play and zero power play goals. Um, if you're able to capitalize on that, this game could go the opposite direction, and Denmark could have two great wins between the Czech Republic and Sweden and then in terms of seeding they might have been, I don't know if they would have been in the playoffs or not if that was the case but Sweden uh they just they just found it and were able to capitalize on their power play when they only had 419 of power play time compared to the um 1055 for Denmark so the difference in this game to me uh is the power play if Denmark capitalized on the power play they probably walk out with a win against Sweden um, but also the fact is that they might have ended up in OT because their power play or their their opposite side, the penalty kill, I should say, played immensely poor as well. So, but at least you could have, if you capitalized on your end, maybe got it three three, and had an overtime, and then anything can happen there, as us great hockey fans know. But this has been a reaction to Denmark's final games of the women's prelims. Best of luck um, going forward. Uh, for the women's team in Denmark as you play in different world championships and different tournaments going forward. It was a really fun team to watch. It's sad to see them go out of the tournament, but they bowed out with a bang against Czech Republic and then played a very good game um, against Sweden in their final game. Uh, they just happened to not win, and sometimes that happens. Sweden has more of the star power, and I think that's what it was in the end combined with the bigger factor of the fact that they couldn't capitalize the power play and Sweden could. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Enjoy the hockey and enjoy the rest of the Olympics. Peace out.